Hey everybody. It's that time of year where we replant trees that were damaged by deer. So I've already dug up the old tree. You gotta get in and finish it up. I wanna thank Dustin from a new GoPro here. He said he was gonna get me something else other than a uh, potato to uh, videotape with. I still gotta get a, a mic for this thing. There we go, found another rock. And it's something we always do in Southwest Virginia is find rocks. that up make sure there's no hard pan on it y'all see this bright sunny day the one where we got clouds and it's misting rain our weatherman's probably as accurate as y'all's a bright sunshiny i think it's supposed to be 76 for the, the high today yeah Yeah, I can't complain. A day out in this is still a better day than in any office. All right, got a decent hole. I got a little bit of my leftover black cow. Pour in some top soil. Bag might slip out of my hand. I normally don't do this for trees, but I got some left over. Figured what the heck. We'll give them a good start off. Got two peach trees I'm going to plant. So I started getting a lot of feedback from uh, the wind and uh, some road noise nearby. So I'm just going to go through and uh, do the audio separate so what you're seeing right here is i've got a couple of leftover bags of black cow i've got one bag of uh, black cow compost one black uh, bag of black cow topsoil and i'm just alternating layers uh, trying to fill up around that hole uh, i dug the hole about two times as wide as the uh, uh the planter itself or the pot that the uh, tree came in and a little bit deeper. That was why earlier in the video I was putting a little bit of that uh, topsoil down in the in the bottom of the hole. So it's a little bit deeper than that pot as well. Now I'm trying to go in and straighten this up. Uh, so it's on a very steep hillside. You probably don't notice it, but uh, it's a little on the uncomfortable side going through and trying to put a tree film. Uh, I've got the GoPro mounted on my chest, uh, getting some of the earlier video in this. Uh, as well as uh, straighten this tree. So it's uh, not the easiest thing to do. Uh, just taking some of the uh, leftover uh, topsoil I dug up. Uh, this is uh, very rocky uh, mineral uh, topsoil. So it's not the best if you're looking at uh, growing crops. It does okay. But uh, and just kind of using it to uh, fill in some gaps. I didn't want to go through and use all of my uh, my black cow compost and topsoil there. I've got one more tree to put in. So just trying to put this in, top it off, and uh, when it rains and it's going to wash some of that away, sacrifice the bad stuff. So uh, one of my neighbors will actually go through and uh, he will take out his level and he will actually straighten the tree up uh, using a level. I'm not quite that bad. Uh, so when I go through and straighten mine, it's uh, it's my eyeball. My eyeball is pretty accurate, but it doesn't need to be perfect. A tree will naturally straighten on its own. Now I'm coming in and just trying to pack that lightly and rake it around. And you know, you'll go through and find as you pack, sometimes you get a few voids here and there. Uh, and then uh, sometimes not so much. I didn't have a lot of uh, good old dirt uh, the uh, red stuff you see to the right to fill in so i decided to go back to uh, my black cow topsoil and and top this off i didn't want to uh, 
have any exposed roots uh, or any exposed part of that uh, pot. So this wasn't quite enough. So I'm just going to go through and use that and raking it out, getting it off the top of it there and going to just lightly pack it in. So it's like anything, you don't want to go in and really, you're not trying to pack a post. You're not really trying to get in there and uh, jam this dirt pack. I'm just trying to pack it enough to where uh, when I get some rain, it's not going to just immediately wash away. So let's go in and light taps here. So nothing extreme. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's worth it in the long run. And uh, I didn't film it in, in this particular video, but I did go back later and tie these up. Uh, typically, it's very common to go through and get a, three stakes. Uh, it's you know kind of form a triangle and uh, tie the tree up uh, around the base so that uh, when you get windy days, it doesn't blow over or blow it at an angle. Uh, so I didn't bore you all to death with that in the video. <laughs> again, going back and just lightly tapping that down on top where I put some of that black cow again, just trying to. Again, pack it lightly and make sure it's you know, not going to immediately wash away when it's loose like that. So it helps quite a bit on the erosion, especially on a steep hillside like this. So with that, I'm finished up on this tree. Uh, I have a second one. I decided not to add the uh, uh, that into the video. I just didn't feel like y'all needed to be bored to death with that particular uh, section of it. And a last little bit of uh, GoPro footage. So this is me going through and packing that uh, using the GoPro earlier. Uh, I really like this. Thanks, Dustin. And here's the finishing shot from the GoPro as well in 2.7K. 4K takes too long to upload. But thanks. Y'all have a good day.